This is the Mondo Coaches interview. I'm Dean Linky, along with the very talented head coach of UIC. His name is John Trask. And, John, great opportunity for your program to be on the NSCAA Game of the Week on Fox Soccer Channel. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to like to thank uh, University of Louisville and obviously the NSCA and Fox Soccer Channel for uh, for hosting these events. It's a great opportunity for UIC, our athletic department, as well as our men's soccer program to showcase what uh, what Chicago is all about. And we're in a great league. The Horizon League is up and coming in men's soccer. We've had some good results so far this season, and uh, hopefully we can get our first win of the season and uh, and give Louisville all they can handle here. Well, listen, you certainly deserve the spotlight because in five seasons, UIC has now become one of the top teams in the country. Talk about how you went about building this program. Uh, it's just been an interesting, uh, an interesting experiment in terms of having ethnic kids from the city of Chicago. We were left with some tremendous foreign talent as well as now starting to recruit from the soccer hotbags that are Chicago and St. Louis when you look at our roster. We're, uh, we're a hodgepodge of nationalities as well as uh, some diversity within the program, and, and we think that's our strength. We don't look at it as a weakness that we're all the same. We look at it as a strength that we've actually got a lot of different components to our game, and uh, the guys love that. Well, when you look at your pedigree, it's really no surprise you're having success because you were able to grow under Jerry Yagley, first as a player, then an assistant coach, then spent some time with Ray Hudson. Let's first talk about playing under the godfather and then coaching under the godfather, Jerry Yagley. How did he prepare you for this job? Uh, you know, Coach was my mentor. I mean, the opportunity to play under him at Indiana University and then 10 years as an assistant coach. Uh, I was fortunate enough to coach his son, Todd Yagley, in high school as well in the in-between time. But... Uh, you know, Coach is there. I, I speak to him weekly, and he's the godfather of, uh, of college soccer. I think everybody admits that. And uh, for him to have selected me out of a handful of people and, and mentor me, I, I was just very fortunate in my career. Now, John, as you know, a lot of college coaches don't have the opportunity to get the pro experience that you got in Major League Soccer uh, in three different teams, particularly under Ray Hudson. And you speak highly of your relationship with him as well. Yeah, as I tell people, you know, obviously Coach Yeagley was my mentor during a critical period of my life, but then to go on and work with Ray Hudson, and uh, I think he cleaned me up in a way and, and helped me realize what soccer was at the highest level, which is the professional ranks. And between those two men who I speak to weekly, uh, I just feel very comfortable now in my role as a head coach. I waited a little bit later in life to become a head coach, but I'm, I think it was the right time for John Trask to take on this challenge, and that's... That's why I feel pretty uh, pretty good in terms of the whole environment I've created at UIC. A lot of people talk about coaches and their style of play. We know how Jerry Yagley plays Ray Hudson. What's the John Trask style of play? You know, hopefully I'm blending some compliments from both of those guys. We'd like to think that we're a hard defensive team to break down and that individual defensive principles are the cornerstone of any good soccer team. But then, you know, Ray Hudson was a big believer in how you pass the ball. and. Actually, that's something we've been struggling with up to this point. We're still trying to get that foundation right with this group of players in terms of, you know, how much defensive pressure, where to pressure. And then obviously the flip side of that is how you possess the ball and what you look like going forward. And as I said, you know, this, we're, this team's still trying to find its identity, but we're starting to really close in on what we think is going to be our core group of players and start to put that UIC stamp on the way we play. Now, on a personal side, you said you took a little bit of time to become a head coach. Also took a little bit of time to become a dad as well as uh, young Jack. is He's not even a year old, is he? No, I've got a five-month-old at home. He's, uh, he's half Serbian, half I'm from the British Isles originally, my parent, you know, my mom. So uh, it'll be an interesting blend. Hopefully he'll be a winger or something in the future. But, yeah, little Jack will be watching at home today as well as my wife, Yella. So wish them the best and uh, looking forward to getting home in some ways. Well, we also hope that uh, young Jack will also be a member of the NSCAA. Talk a little bit about how the NSCAA has helped you become a better coach. Oh, there's no question. I, I think back to the first time coach took me over to, uh, to Philadelphia, and it was uh, mid to late 80s uh, once my coaching career started. And you just see that basis of knowledge with those people, whether it's uh, – you know, Irv Schmidt and, and some of the great people that are involved. Uh, and you look at how the membership has grown and the things that they've done to support soccer in the United States. It's no wonder that we're starting to see success at every level in the game. And, and the NSCA is uh, just a remarkable organization. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be a member. Thank you, John. John Trask, the talented head coach of the UIC men's soccer team.
The coaches' interviews are brought to you by Mondo. Mondo, manufacturer of the Mondo Turf Artificial Turf System and the patented Echo Fill Star Info, is now the official turf company of the NSCAA. The Mondo Turf System features Mondo's newest generation of polyethylene fibers, which look and feel like natural grass and use color pigments that are free of toxins and heavy metals. Echo Fill, the company's environmentally friendly infill, is made from a synthetic material and not reground tire pellets. For more information about Mondo, visit MondoUSA.com.